Okay, this is our next exercise after the orthographic projection. We're going to do a site plan. Now, if you want to follow along in the book, you want to turn to page 396 in your AutoCAD 2014 for civil engineering applications. We have a site plan there for the White Oak subdivision. So we're going to get started with this one. And the first thing we're going to do is you'll notice it has quite a few layers that we need to create. So we'll do that first. So you're going to go to your layer tool or just type in layer. Actually, before I do that, I probably want to do a file, save as. I'm going to put this, I opened up my letter TB ANSI template file. And we're going to put this into our, I'll work in the temp directory so I don't mess anything up, uh, CAD drawings. And this will be called call it site plan one so now we're working in the right one now we can go to our levels or layers Let's right click new layer first one is going to be called lots and I just use all caps because it's easier another new layer will be called lots underscore ang underscore dim that's Angular dimensions for lots. Right click, new layer. This one will be lots underscore linear underscore dimensions. And then new layer, lots underscore label. New layer. This one will be outline. New layer, outline underscore dimensions, DIM, then outline underscore label, and then we're going to create another new one called road, and then road underscore CL for center line right click new layer road underscore dimension and finally we're gonna create a new layer called road underscore label okay we're gonna start with our outline I want to change my color to yellow on this one we'll say okay and uh, double click it so that makes it active and we're going to come up here and say by layer I'm going to change my thickness and see if I can just take a test on this I just want to make it show up a little better you don't need to do this you can keep yours small but I just wanted to see if I could that shows up a little better for you okay now, if you look at the diagram on page 397, we have an outline of our entire site plan. And I'm going to take you through this step-by-step. -step. They use actually step-by-step -step instructions in the book for the most part, but it doesn't really give you the, the uh, information like I would do it step-by-step. -step. So we're going to, first of all, come up here to your big A. Go down to where it says Drawing Utilities and say Units. Now instead of inches, we're going to be working in engineering format, so it's going to be in feet and inches to decimal places. Uh, insertion scale should be inches. Don't know how that got there. And uh, this will be two, de two decimal places on degrees. And we'll just say okay we're gonna start with our line tool we're gonna to draw a line 200 feet long from right to left so I'm gonna start at 0 0 so 0 comma 0 puts me down here at the XY apex pull it to the left and just type in 200 and use the foot mark enter now I'm gonna hit escape now it doesn't want to 
really let me zoom out very well. So you can do a Z period, enter period, it will zoom out and then you can adjust it a little bit. Now this next line, back up here, is a 45 degree line starting at this point, it goes up 45 degrees. The distance it gives us is from this point horizontally is 125 feet. But it doesn't tell us what the length is. But if it's 45 degrees, then if this is 125 feet, it needs to go vertical 125 feet. So this is where that XY relative coordinates comes in. Select the line tool again. We're going to find this point. Left click. Now, you're going to hit the at symbol. At. And you're going to type in negative 125 feet. Hit your comma. And then you're going to type just 125, whoops, 5 feet, and hit enter. So that creates a 45 degree line, 125 by 125. Now just go vertical. We're going to type in a line length straight up of 275 feet, enter. Pull this down. Okay. Now we're going in this direction. We have another 45 degree that's 125 by 125. So again, we're still in the line command. You're going to hit your at symbol. We're going to type in 125 feet, comma, and vertically 125 feet. So both positive. So now we went positive, positive in that direction. We're going to go horizontal left to right now, 325 feet, hit enter. We're going straight down 250 feet, so it's 250 feet. We're going to go to the right 50 feet. We're going to go straight up 125 feet. Now we get another one of those pesky angles, and again it's 45 degrees, so we're going to hit the at symbol, we're going to type in uh, 50 feet, comma, 50 feet, enter. Now we're going to go horizontal, 175 feet, straight down, 175 feet. We go to the right 75 feet. We go down 100 feet. We go back 75. You don't want to type it in. You can just go up here and kiss this one and then bring it straight down. You can see how when I kiss that and bring it down it gives me that line. It actually shows me when I'm perpendicular. Now it goes down 25 feet. Now the key to this is when we get back to the beginning, they need to touch exactly. It makes an, a, a closed loop. Now we go left to right, 171 feet. 171 feet. Now we got an angle that's not a 45, but we get both dimensions on this one. It actually ends up being about 54 degrees. So we know horizontally it is 54 feet and down 75. So we're just going to hit our at symbol. Oops. Yeah, yep. And we're going to type in negative 54 for the width and negative 75. Whoops. Negative 54 feet, comma, neg uh, negative. 75 feet. Almost there. Messed it up almost. Now we go horizontal 175 feet. And this next line should be 75 feet long straight down. So if I pull this down until it touches, you'll notice it's 75 feet long at 90 degrees and it touches the original point. Hit escape and there's our property line, just like it looks in the book. So if I'm using a little thicker line. Now, we're going to create a polyline now. If you look on page um, 
398, there's a poly line that represents the road. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to change this to the road level, and we'll change our road level to be green. And we'll close this out, and we'll select the poly line. What I'm going to do is start right where we did before. We're going to go all the way around, just touching the corners. Let it snap right in with that square box. And this one you want to go all the way down until it touches the bottom. You can see our perpendicular symbol comes up. Left click at this point. And then just hit C for close and enter. So we got an enclosed polyline. If I select it, the whole thing selects. The book tells us that our road is 100 feet off the outside boundary of this shape. So we're going to take our offset tool and we'll just say What happens if I hit E for erase? And erase offsetting after offsetting. I want to say yes. So I'm just going to left click on this. And we're going to go in 100 feet. There it goes. Now we had erased the outside one. So this actually represents our road. The road is actually 16 feet wide. So we do another offset and we'll go through. It's easier to do it that way. 16 feet. Whoops. Didn't want to erase it. Through. Enter. Crap, I guess I got a hit. We'll type E again for erase. And now I gotta say no, don't erase it. All done using that tool. Now we can come in 16 feet. And uh, we're going to the center line of this road is actually red. Um, and I'm just going to offset this one. Hit enter. And I'm going to go in 8 feet. And if I select this, whoops, hit escape a couple times. Select it, right click, and say properties. I want it to be in my road center line. I want the line type to be. center and let's try five for the scale close this out and then if we actually go to our layer command for road center line we'll change this to light blue so it shows up relatively thin close this out and now our line style is correct now, we're going to connect these roads together eventually, but we have kind of a square cul-de-sac down here, don't ask me. So, what we're going to do is go back to our road level, so it's green, go to our line tool. If I hold down my shift key and my right mouse button, I can say temporary, let go of the shift key afterwards, then hit temporary track point. I'm going to start here, and we're going to go over a distance of... 49 feet and then we're going down a dis distance of 107 feet now we can start drawing this is over 122 feet down 107 feet back and again I can just match this because it's just a box and then come back up to the beginning now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do an array. Except I didn't notice I did that in single lines and I should have done polylines. Not to fret. If I just uh, go to my modify and say join, select my source and hit enter. Now they're all one. So even if you make a mistake like I did, hit enter. Now we're going to say here, command 16 feet. 
and then we're going to come in eight feet. And again, if I just um, select this, let me hit escape a couple times, select this and go change it to my road center line and uh, hit escape. Whoops, you know what? Didn't change my line. Let's go fix that right now. Road center line. I want this to be center. And I don't know if it'll do the scale though. If I say my layer. That scale of what five? All right, that'll work. Now, back on our road line, I'm going to take my line tool, and I'm going to start starting down. It goes down 68 feet. So if I just start up here, let it settle, go down 68 feet, enter. It actually lines right up with this. Come over until it touches this perpendicularly. Hit escape and then enter. So I'm going to start another line. This one's coming down 16 feet and over here until you get to perpendicular. Hit escape. And then we have a road coming in off the end of the property that comes down 151 feet 5 inches from the top. So if I just start a line right here and come down. One five one feet five inches. So you use one fifty one foot mark and then five inches. Enter. And it's going to come over until it touches this line. Hit enter again. And we'll come down sixteen feet. And then bring it over until it touches perpendicularly. And now we'll change to our road center line. Right here, let it settle, come up. Eight feet. We'll just draw it straight across until it hits perpendicular. Do the same thing over here. Enter. Start here. Move it up eight feet. Whoops, what did I do? Enter. Let it settle. Eight feet. There we go. I'm going to select this one. This one, right click, say properties, set my scale to five. Now we're going to go to our trim tool. So just TR, enter, enter again. And I want to trim this out and this out. And that, and that. And we're going to trim out this and this. Now we have our lot with our road in the center. And, um, that should uh, uh, get you started. I'll leave you there for now and uh, I'll pick it up with another video when we get ready to start finishing this off. Or you can go through the book and just follow the instructions in there. Make sure that you get your things in the, uh, your lines and your text in the right, right levels or layers. And that should do it.